Hello, I'm Luke Ross, and welcome to another Baselight Insight on Mixlight.com. In this insight, we're going to have a look at managing grades within Baselight Student. So we're going to have a look at a few of the basic copy and pasting operations, and then we're also going to have a look at the playback filter, which is a really useful tool. So let's get into it. Okay, so we've got a few shots here, and you can see that as I scroll through here, we've got um, a few different scenes that we need to grade. There's three scenes that we have to work with here. There's a bathroom scene, a zombie scene and sort of a dress montage scene. To start off with, let's have a look at some of the most basic copying and pasting operations that you can do in Baselight. I'll start off by applying a really wacky grade to this first clip, just so we've got some context. Okay, so we've applied two grading layers and a shape. I'm going to go into my shape layer and add a matte tool operator as well. And this will give us a fairly standard base light stack. You can rate my fantastic grading skills in the comment below. If we wanted to copy this grade across to this dress montage shot, what we could do, we could left mouse click and lasso our clips, hit Command C for copy, click our dress montage clip, and hit Command I for intelligent paste. Baselight does copying and pasting a little differently to most softwares. So if you Command C, and then command V grades, it won't work. When you're copying things in the timeline, you've got two options. You've either got force paste, which is command F, or intelligent paste, which is command I. If I go ahead and hit command C, go to my dress montage clip and hit command F, you can see that the grade surpasses the strip length of my clip, which is not what I want. So that's where intelligent paste comes in. And if I hit command I, you can see that copies our grades to the duration of the strip length. I'm gonna Command Z that and go back to our first shot. If we don't wanna lasso our stack each time, a slightly quicker way that we can do that is Command U, which is Smart Copy. And you can see when I do that, the entire stack lights up. Now I can go ahead, select my dress montage, Command I for Intelligent Paste, and that copies my grade over. So that's some basic copy and pasting operations within Baseline. But now let's have a look at the Cuts view. So the Cuts view is down here. So before we start managing grades using the cut view, there's a few things to point out. Along the top here is some buttons which apply to the cuts view. So first of all, if we hit the scroll button and now I tab through my shots, you can see that the cut view is dynamically moving along with my cursor. If I turn the scroll off, you can see it no longer does that. So I keep scroll on. DBS or dark blue square is what you can see around this shot. And we'll talk about this in a second, but you can see that we can also lock this dark blue square to move along with our cursor as well. I'll leave that unlocked on my first shot for now. The next drop down here is a viewing option. So at the moment you can see that it has the poster frame displaying, but if we go ahead and change this to start and end, it'll display the first and last frame of each shot. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on poster frame for now. The most important button to look at right now is this button here. Now this will probably be defaulting to primaries when you open up Baselight Student. So let me show you what happens when we leave it on primaries. A great way that we can copy and paste grades using the cut view is literally just left clicking on a shot, dragging down, and then we can apply that grade to another shot. As you'll notice, however, it's only applied the first layer of my graded shot, not my second layer here as well. And that's because of this drop down menu here. This drop down defines what the cut view copying and pasting operations will copy across. So if I change this to replace all, let's go ahead and delete this grade. And with my all replace set, if I go ahead and click drag this down and apply, you can see now all of my grades will be copied. You can see that there's a few options here of what we can choose to do when we copy and paste using the cut view, but I'm gonna leave it on all replace for now. There's another way to copy and paste using the cuts view. I'm gonna tab along the timeline with X and go to the shot that I want to paste the grade to. And I'm going to shift left mouse click on the shot that I want to copy. I can give you another example. I can jump along to another shot, shift left mouse click, and you can see the grade copies across. Okay, so that's a few ways that you can manage grades using keyboard shortcuts and using the cuts view. Uh, but let's talk about the playback filter now. When we're talking about the playback filter, we need to start with the shots view. So we'll open up the shots view tab with control H. If you're unfamiliar with the shots view and wanna have an explore on that, there's a previous insight that I've done in this series. So definitely go ahead and have a look at that. 
Okay, so these are all of the shots that we have in our scene. And if I go ahead and group this by tape name, you can see that our bathroom clips share the same tape name, our dress montage clips share the same tape name, and our zombie garage clips share the same tape name. Because all of the shots in our different scenes have matching tape names, I'm going to use this metadata to filter our timeline and to copy our grades across. If I sort by record time code again, we're currently on our all shots tab, which has no filter options applied. But you can see that Baselight defaults with two other tabs, a graded tab with a grade filter and a current tape tab with a tape filter. This tape filter is dynamic, so if I scroll through the scene with my cursor, this filter will display all of the shots with the shared tape name. The really cool thing is all of these different tabs can be used to playback filter your timeline. And the one we're going to focus on is the current tape. If I close the shots view and go back to the beginning of our timeline here, Say that I want to copy this grade across to all of the other bathroom scenes. Now we know looking in our shots view that there are two bathroom shots that share the same tape name. So what I'm going to do is head over to the playback section of our UI and you can see that there's a playback filtering option. I'm going to hover down here and go to current tape. When I click that you can see a couple of things changed. First of all the cuts view changed just to reflect the shots with a matching tape name. You can also see on the timeline everything dimmed except for these two shots here. And if I hit Z and X on the timeline, it jumps directly to these two shots. To reiterate, the reason why this is happening is because it is just filtering by this current tape tab. When I'm in the playback filtering mode, my normal keyboard shortcut keys, Z and X, constrain me to my selection. But I can go ahead and click and drag my cursor, and you can see that now I'm resting on this shot it's displaying my three shots that share that tape name. And if I hit Z and X, I can jump between them. Again, this reflects my shot view filtering. There's a shortcut key to toggle playback filtering on and off. And on the Mac, it's Control Tab. This brings up our menu. And if we hold down Control and Tab through, you can see that we can toggle through our different options. I'm going to leave it on no filtering and release Control. And that removes any playback filtering. If I wanted to reapply playback filtering, I can hit Control Tab and go back to my current tape. So now that we're in this playback filtering mode, let's apply some grades within this filter. So again, all of our standard copying and pasting techniques apply. I can hit Command U, toggle over to my shot with the X key, and hit Command I. So that's great if you only have one shot. But for example here, say that we want to apply grade to these zombie shots. So let's apply something nice and wacky. Okay, so we want to apply this lovely looking grade to these two other zombie scene shots. To start off with, we're going to apply the dark blue square to our first shot using the left mouse click. You can think of the dark blue square as like a reference point for base light copying and pasting operations. For the operation I'm about to show you, we've got to make sure that this dark blue square is resting on our grade that we want to copy. I'm going to tab across to our next shot and I'm going to select the shots that I want to copy to in the cuts view using the middle mouse button click. So I'm clicking down the middle mouse button. That also deselects shots. With the dark blue square resting on my source and my two additional clips selected, I'm going to hit command G, which is group grading. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit the apply button. As you can see, that applies our full stack to both of these clips. When I'm copying grades in this way, I need to make sure to hit Command G again to turn off group grading. You don't want to stay in that mode for long. It's pretty dangerous. I'm going to deselect these shots with the middle mouse button. Let's do this technique once more just to get it in our brain. I'm going to click and drag my cursor onto our final ungraded shots. You can see that there's three shots in this dress montage scene that need to be graded. Let's go ahead and apply one more crazy looking grade. So we want to apply this full grade to these two other shots. So just like before, we'll left mouse click our first shot, which applies our dark blue square. We'll tab along to our next shot, use the middle mouse button click to select the two shots that we want, enter group grading with command G, and we'll hit the apply button. Again, this will copy the full stack to our other two shots, and we'll exit group grading mode with command G. Now I can hear you thinking, what if there's a lot more than two shots? I don't want to be going ahead and manually selecting each shot in the cut view. Luckily, you don't have to. There's a great shortcut key, Command, Shift, Enter, 
which selects or deselects all shots in the cut view. So if I Command Z my copy and deselect my shots, I could hit Command Shift Enter. I'd have to deselect my dark blue square. Command G, apply. Command G to exit group grading. And then I could Command Shift Enter, Command Shift Enter to deselect all. Okay, and just like that, we've applied different grades to different scenes using the playback filter. Now, if you don't have any tape name metadata in your footage, there are other ways that you can use the playback filter. You can see that the two zombie shots here, I have marked with a little visual effects strip category. If I wanted to view all of my visual effects shots at once in the timeline, I could go ahead, create a new tab, call this visual effects, go down to the filtering menu, add a category and filter by visual effects. Now I've got a shots view tab that contains all of my marked visual effects shots. If I hide the shots view and hit control tab, now you can see that this shots view tab appears in my playback filter. I can select that. And now you can see that I've got a playback filter with just my visual effects shots. You can apply playback filtering to anything that you can have a filter on. So it's a really powerful tool set that allows you to just view what you want to view. There's lots of different ways to copy and paste your grades within Baselight. I didn't even touch on the layer view, which is a really great tool, which we can do a future insight on. I hope that was a great introduction and I'll catch you next time.